I don't like what the president said last night. I'm the first person to say, I want to hear from Dr. Ford. I thought she was handled respectfully. I thought Kavanaugh was treated like crap. Yeah, well, boo yourself. Here's what all I right, All right, all right. Look, so, I'm going to so, ask listen, you. I'm going to ask you to please be but, respectful but of this conversation so we can have the conversation. That's Thank right. You. I have nothing. I really believe that Brett Kavanaugh is not a gang rapist, a sexual predator, or a stumbling, bumbling drunk. I really believe that, and I don't care whether you believe it or not. I believe it because I've known him for 20 years. So the double standard here offends me, and I voted for Sotomayor and Kagan and never thought twice about it. I would never have done to them what's been done to but this let good Let me just step, step back for one minute to talk about, please, sir, thank you. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you about Dr. Ford's testimony. Okay. Um, you believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that something terrible happened to her, but it wasn't Kavanaugh. It, it, it seems to me, I'm not a psychologist, but I have been a lawyer. So I don't know what happened. I know this, that if you're going to accuse a person of a crime in this country, oh, by the way, you're not assumed guilty. And what got me so upset in the hearing was when they told uh, Judge Kavanaugh, turn to Don McGahn, and if you're truly innocent, just ask to extend this investigation. What are you hiding? You know, this is not the Soviet Union. This is America. So that kind of got me going. So here's what I think. I think the accusation was made by Dr. Ford, and I listened. She was heard. I think she was treated respectfully because everybody deserves that. I back up and I say, what do I have? I can't have a location. I can't have a time. The corroborating witnesses don't validate the claim. They actually go the other way. And everything else in the record I know about Brett Kavanaugh is he's not Bill Cosby. And he's not Harvey Weinstein. This is about power, usually, Jeff. It's not about sex. And if you're a serial rapist and a gang rapist and you drug women in high school, you usually don't get over it. 